Hey guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com talking about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. So if you like this topic, please hit the like button and subscribe because I do a new video every week. And someone recently asked me um, how long it took for me to awaken spiritually. And I thought that was a very interesting question. It took me a while to think about. And I liked it so much that I decided to make a video on it about spiritual awakening um, and the process and it's a process that we can't really rush it's a process that I don't know that we have a hundred percent control over and it is a process that if you're doing it right will take your entire life and that's a great thing that's really fun that's wonderful um, the reason why I'm framing it and phrasing it that way is that the idea of just of like spiritual awakening, it really almost creates this idea that it's in like it's instantaneous. And, and in this culture, um, we get everything we want whenever we want it. And we can, you know, watch movies whenever we want and get whatever music we want, buy whatever we want. We can just have it instantly. And the spiritual thing is really... A path and the awakening is a path and you might have a certain level of awakening at one era or stage in your life and then and then another level of awakening and then some other circumstance will happen or some life event or something and that you'll have to go through that and then you'll come out with, with a new understanding so it is a lifelong process and that said I also firmly believe that we as seekers should be careful not to idolize someone that presents as if they they have mastered um, they have reached a level of spiritual mastery and can tell you um, what to do now i have to be careful with that because here i am talking about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth but I see problems arising from people um, giving too much power to somebody else and and focusing on them as the point through which the spiritual awakening comes and looking to them as if they, they've figured it all out and they've got all the answers and then you find out they're, they've got major life issues and then that's really disappointing um, and all of that. And we have to be careful uh, in this day and age of because of social media, what is presented is not always accurate as far as what's really going on and even the person with the most beautifully cultivated persona and um, sort of branding can have a myriad of issues underneath the surface and you're watching them and listening to them and feeling like oh man like they've got it so great like how come I'm struggling and not really knowing that they're struggling just as much as you are and I think a lot of um, the wonderful teachers out there are transparent, which is a very beautiful thing. Um, we're all sort of on this similar like playing ground here. We're all here on earth. We're all learning lessons and we're all those of us devoted to this path. We're all on the path. And the funny thing about it, as I'm talking to you, I'm like envisioning this path and thinking like some people are further up ahead with their backpacks on, like trotting towards this temple of enlightenment. But I don't, I think that's an analytical kind of process that, that and something that we put on there, like, wow, they're further along the path. Like they've achieved so much and I'm way back here, but it doesn't really work like that. And the, the greater scheme of things. So if you're work, working on that spiritual awakening that enlightenment and that awareness to also know and be to, to be gentle and know that everybody's fucked up everybody's everybody's got problems and you're no worse than anyone else like you're you're here just like all of us um yeah you watch those shows about like the popes and the the the, the church people i mean for centuries on earth you know they, they were they held all this power and they made us feel like they like we were the, the sinners or the ones that needed to just get you know whipped into shape and and pray for forgiveness and everything when in fact they were just as bad as everyone else so um i think it'll take some years for us to 
sort of switch out of that, that I guess you might even call it a Piscean age thing because we are in this age of Aquarius now. Um, but what you may notice, and I don't know if I said this already, because as I've said in other videos, I had to redo them a few times because I've like been talking, talking, and then I realized the mic's not on, or I made a mistake, or or this, that, or the other. But um, it it can take layers, and and let's say you can you can come in, which I've seen with a lot of the really wonderful people I work with. I'm so lucky that these beautiful, bright, shining spirits um, are coming and and working with me. And they're, it's like they've come, a lot of people, like they, I see them coming to the world like, yay, I'm here, I'm a beautiful free, you know, free spirit, fresh in this new baby body. And then it's like, oh no, like here it comes, like earth just like beats you up. And these people have gone through, so many beautiful people have gone through so many terrible things that I've seen firsthand. But um, it's like you, you're born with this, this awareness and then maybe that gets trampled down and then you have you have a little bit of awakening at a later point in your childhood years and then another one later on and another one later on there's a metaphysical concept that something happens like you have this major shift every seven years um and to a degree i've seen that i and i think these old teachings like there's something to them and and i think that's true to a point but we also don't want to assign um, these moments of awakening to a certain linear time frame, and we want to like kind of just be free and, and let it let it flow. But um, yeah, those every seven years they say that. Um, so it could be that we do have a little shift of awareness. But back to your own life and all that. If you think of it more of a process that will take an entire lifetime. I think that's more of the way it works. Some people have these major downloads and transformations that are like kapow and everything changes. I've certainly had levels of that. Like when I um, first discovered just how clairvoyant I was and how wonderful it was and, and easy it was to do that work. And then when I came on the path of the, the Kabbalah and went through a, a process of, of bringing in more light and reaching the Ascended Masters and channeling them, like that was another thing. And I have quite a few years left as far as I know. And so I'm sure they'll be filled with opportunities for spiritual growth and transformation. Um, that's what we're, we're all here to, to do and the best um, of all worlds, you know, the best case scenario. So that about sums that whole thing up and i hope that that makes sense and i would love to know if you have more questions about that because um i want to know if there are things you i could tune into and channel and figure out or things that are really on your mind about spiritual awakening and, and opening up and and these different things that we go through especially with the way that things are changing now like um the way things are speeding up on Earth and sometimes slowing down, there are a lot of different subtle energies and those of us who are really sensitive do feel that. So that can impact things as well. But if you want me to chat about stuff, if you have a question, put it in the comments below. And um, there are a lot of really helpful meditations and tools on my website at krishanti.com. If you're interested, just check it out. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.